Hey everyone, this is Stefan from projectlifemastery.com and in this video, I'm gonna share with you 20 reasons why most people fail to build a successful online business. Now, before I jump into things, I got a little warning for you guys. I'm gonna be shooting you straight in this video. I'm gonna be totally honest, totally authentic, totally real and I'm not gonna hold anything back. And I'm gonna tell you what you need to hear, not what you wanna hear. And so if you're someone that's easily offended, I recommend you turn off this video, you look somewhere else because in order for me to effectively communicate what I'm gonna share with you in this video and share these 20 reasons why most people fail and prevent you from failing in your business is I need to communicate with a level of intensity and emotion and caring and honesty that's unlike anything else. And I've worked with now thousands of people to build a successful online business and a lot of people that have gone on to be very, very successful and a lot of people that fail, a lot of people that struggle and it frustrates the hell out of me. And as you guys know, my whole mission in life, everything that I do in my business is because I want to make a difference in your life and other people's lives as well. I've dedicated my life to this. I take my business, my time very, very seriously, what I do, and I want you to succeed. I wanna see people succeed. I wanna see people have success and achieve what you want in your life. And so when I see people that fail, it really bothers me. I get emotional about it because I work so hard to help people succeed and hopefully you guys get that. Hopefully you guys see the caring that I have uh, behind everything, everything that I do. You know, right now I'm recording this on a Sunday, not because I have to do it, but because I want to do it. I wanna make a difference. You know, that's why I put out hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube is because I want to help you succeed in your life. That's why I create training programs and products and might recommend different courses and products to you is because I want you to succeed. And a lot of people that I've worked with have gone on, changed their life for the better, make a lot of money online, six figures, seven figures, eight figures even. And I'm very proud of that. But I've also seen so many people that fail and struggle. People that are watching here on YouTube or on my podcast or on my blog, you know, seeing people struggle. People that maybe even invest in my training programs, I see a lot of people struggle. People that are in my Facebook groups, and I'm just seeing a lot of different posts and messages, and I'm just seeing so many mistakes that people are making, and I've made these mistakes myself. If you guys don't know my story, I failed for years. I struggled for years. It was not easy for me in any way. I struggled more than most people did. I was always very slow. It took me a long time. Uh, I had a lot of barriers that were holding me back. A lot of the things I'm gonna share with you in this video. And it wasn't until I was finally honest with myself and, and got to the truth and looked myself in the mirror that I was able to make changes in my life. And part of what I'm gonna share with you guys, I want you guys to be honest with yourself. That's the only way you're gonna make a change. It doesn't feel good to be honest. That's why a lot of people, they cover things up. They come up with reasons or stories or justifications of why things are okay, why things are acceptable the way they are, why they're doing okay, and, and instead of getting to the truth because the truth doesn't feel good. You know, facing the reality, it's uncomfortable. You know, it might mean that you have to admit that you're not enough or that you're failing or you're coming up short. And I get that, but I'm gonna ask you, in order to change your life, you have to have courage. That's what it takes, man. It takes courage to change your life. It takes courage to build a business to be successful. It takes looking yourself in the mirror and, and being willing to be vulnerable with yourself. Put it aside the ego. Be vulnerable, have an open mind, and be willing to admit that you could be doing more. You could be doing better. You could face this. You could overcome this in your life and then just going for it. That's what you got to do. So I want you guys to be honest with yourselves based on what I'm sharing with you and reassess yourself, really. Identify, okay, what's stopping me? I'm gonna list 20 reasons here. What, which ones are stopping you? If you guys can do that and have the courage to face yourself head on, look yourself in the mirror and admit to yourself that you're coming up short, you need to work on this or that, and then actually take action to overcome it, you can break through and create whatever kind of success that you want for your life. And I'm often reminded of something that I heard from Tony Robbins that I preach on my YouTube channel, and you guys probably already know this, 80% of success in anything is your psychology, 20% are the mechanics. And that 80%, that psychology is what I'm sharing with you right now in this video. Because the how-to, the strategies are there. I've got great training programs, I've got my K-Money Mastery, I've got training that I've recommended to you guys, it's there for you. The training, the step-by-step -step is there. It's available for you to create the success that you want. And you follow the training, you follow the formulas, you work hard, you apply the psychology that I'm sharing with you, you'll create whatever kind of success that you want. 
But again, most people fail because they're missing that psychology and hopefully I can communicate with you guys in this video the importance of this and help you make that shift so that you can break through and create the success that you want. All right, so with that being said, let's jump into the 20 reasons why most people fail to build a successful online business. Number one, reason number one, and none of these are in order of importance. They're just random reasons that I came up with looking at the thousands of people that I've worked with. I've identified the patterns of success and the patterns of failure. But number one reason is a lot of people, they fail because they lack belief, confidence, and certainty in themselves and in the process and in their business. All right. A lot of people, they lack confidence. They lack, they lack belief. And you can't be successful if you're not confident. Show me someone that's massively successful that doesn't have confidence to go along with it. You have to believe in yourself. You don't believe in yourself, then you're not going to take action. You're not going to do what's necessary to build your business. To, to, you know, because you don't believe in yourself. You don't even believe that you're going to be successful. So how can you possibly create success if you don't have that belief? If you don't have that confidence, that certainty? If you're uncertain, if you have doubt, then you're gonna do a little bit here and there, but you're not gonna be all in. You're not gonna commit yourself fully. And you have to have confidence and belief in the business, in the opportunity, in the process. If you don't believe that your business model is gonna create the success that you want or help you achieve your goals, then you're not gonna take action either. And I see this time and time again, the people that invest in my training, but they don't even believe fully that the training is gonna work for them. You know, so they're, they're kind of like have one foot in and one foot out and they kind of dabble with it a little bit and then they, they you know, sure enough, they look for reasons to reinforce why they're not gonna be successful, right? So, you know, they publish a book or they do something, they start a business and it doesn't work out the way and they reinforce that belief and say, see, I told you, I told you that you're not gonna be successful. I told you this wouldn't work. I knew that other people in my family or my friends said that you're not gonna be successful, it's not gonna work. And then you justify that belief because you're, you're holding on to that story that's stopping you and holding you back. You got, you got to overcome the limiting beliefs that you have and believe. You've got to have faith. Faith is a, a stronger level of belief. That's, that's believing even when there's no reason to believe. That's what faith is. You have to have a delusional belief in yourself that you will be successful no matter what. That this business will work. And I know for myself, I had that belief when I was younger. I just knew that I'd be successful. I had no doubt whatsoever. I knew that I was going to be a millionaire by the time I was 30. I just knew it. Once I discovered internet marketing, online business, there was no doubt in my mind because I saw all these other people that were successful and I knew that as long as I work my ass off and do what it takes, then I'll be successful as well. I had that, that, that unrelenting belief uh, in myself even though there's no reasons in my life to believe. I was a failure, I was a loser. Uh, you know, I, I had a lot of issues, a lot of limiting beliefs. I was living in my friend's living room. I was struggling, I was in debt. I, I had no reasons to believe that I was actually gonna be successful, but I, I had faith that I was. That's what faith is, guys. And you need that to be successful. And the, the, I can give you a few tips on, uh, on how to build and develop that belief and a lot of what I share on my YouTube channel can help you with that but number one is feed your mind. Feed your mind with stories of people that are successful. When you see other people that went from failure to success, that shows you in your mind that you can do it as well. If they did it, you can do it. Find role models. Maybe I'm a role model for you. Great, but find more. Find other people that failed and, and then created success because that will reinforce to you that you can do it, that you'll be successful. If, you're, if your entire role models in your life are people that are failures around you that have a negative attitude and they're all broken, struggling, then that, that doesn't give you any hope. That doesn't give you any belief that you're gonna be successful as well. So you gotta change that. You gotta find people that are more successful than you and feed your mind and, and surround yourself with them or read books or invest in training or maybe from my YouTube, whatever it is, and, and learn from people more successful than you. You know, I, I try to interview people and share them here on my YouTube channel. Hopefully you guys get that. You can see other people that have done it, other people that are successful. That, that's showing you the way of success, that you can do it as well. Anybody can do it. doesn't matter who you are, where you live in the world, what your circumstances are. I've never encountered a type of person that doesn't have the potential for success, but you have to believe in yourself, all right? I believe in you, without a doubt, and I, don't, I might not even know you. I probably don't even know you, 
but I still believe in you because I know that if you're here watching this video right now, you have the potential to change your life. If you're someone that subscribes to me, follows me in some way, you have that courage, you have that faith. Because to follow me, to invest in my training, to invest in one of my courses, takes courage, takes faith, takes trust. And maybe it might not be consistent for you that belief, but I know it's there. You've got to cultivate it. One of the best ways to cultivate it that you guys know I'm huge on is a morning ritual. Taking that time every day, you've got to condition your mindset, your, your, your belief system every single morning to prepare yourself for the day. You gotta start the day with that belief. If you don't have it, you gotta work, you gotta work on that every day. Affirmations, incantations, reading books, doing everything that's necessary. That prepares you, that gives you the confidence and determination to put yourself in that state of doing what's required to build your business every day. So it starts with the morning ritual, guys. And again, if you guys want my training program, what I've created on creating a morning ritual, then check out morningritualmastery.com. It's helped thousands of people now. I'm very proud of that program. And it will share with you how you can sh make that shift in your psychology, your mindset, your belief system to be more productive, to, to, to achieve more success in your life. So create a morning ritual. That, that's one of the best ways that I know of that I did for myself since I was 17 years old to condition myself to make who I am today. Because everything that I am today, everything I've created, I created years ago through repetitively doing my morning ritual every single day to condition myself to be who I am today and who I'm gonna be in the future. All right, so belief in yourself and the process. Number two reason why a lot of people fail is they don't have any patience. They're focused on the short term, not the long term. And listen, if you wanna build anything that's meaningful, anything that is success in your life, whether it's a business or anything, it takes time. It's not gonna happen overnight. You have to be patient. You have to trust the process. You know, I don't know anybody that just invests in a training or starts a business and all of a sudden just like that, they're a success. It doesn't happen that way. Most people fail. Most people go through setbacks and adversity along the way. But because they're focused on the long term, they're patient, they're willing to get through those adversities and get through the little speed bumps because they're focused on the horizon. You gotta focus on the horizon. You gotta have a vision for what you want and then work hard and just be patient along the way. But the problem is a lot of people, they're looking to get rich quick. They're looking for a loophole, a gimmick, they wanna press a button and make all this money. And that's a surefire way to, a surefire way to fail in business. You might make a little bit of money here and there, but it's not gonna last. It's not gonna be sustainable. You have to give up the short-term thinking. Focus on the long-term. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Focus on not what you're gonna get a month from now, or three months from now, or six months from now, but a year from now, five, 10 years from now. That's how far you have to think. You gotta prepare and take action today, knowing that what you're doing is gonna benefit you five years from now, to create the life that you want. So focus on the long term, guys. Have patience. Have patience. Okay, don't make that mistake. Number three, people fail because they aren't willing to do the work. They're not willing to fully commit themselves and put in the work that's required to create the success that they want. Success is not easy, guys. It's a lonely road. It requires a lot of work. And that's why a lot of people don't achieve success is they're just not willing to do the work. You know, it, it, you have to want it so bad that doing the work is, is just something that you understand that you're willing to do because you want what you want is, is, is so important for you. You know, I, I mean, I, if you guys had any idea how much I work every day and how much I've worked throughout the years, most people wouldn't even be able to relate or fathom the amount of work that I put into my business and myself. I mean, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, which I recommend you, you guys do, there'll be a link in the description, but my username is Stephen James one Stephen James one you guys will see every single day, it's a Sunday, it's a Saturday, I don't care what day of the week it is, I'm working my ass off to build my business. And I'm in a position where I don't need to be working as much. I'm already made millions of dollars online. I've already created a lot of success and I'm living the life that I want, but I wanna create more. I wanna make more of an impact. I wanna make more of a difference. I wanna grow and become more. I love the process of it. I'm focused on my goals, my vision five, 10 years from now. And I've never lost that hunger. You gotta have that hunger if you wanna have success and you have to be willing to hustle and grind and do things that most people are not willing to do if you wanna have in your life what very few people 
get a chance to have an experience. You gotta work your ass off. I can't tell you how many days and nights that I've worked. How many, you know, from morning till midnight, beyond midnight. I remember one time I was in Bogota in Colombia, struggling back in 2012. And I was, at the time, just building Project Life Mastery. I remember one time I stayed up two days straight, did not sleep, two days straight. I was renting this little place. I, was, uh, I didn't go out at all, hardly left, except I went to the store to buy like a loaf of bread and, um, and like sandwich meats and mustard. That's all I ate for, you know, for like a week, right? And I just had bottles of water and, and I, I just couldn't even, I didn't even want to spend any time to, to grocery shop or have to think about food because I wanted all my focus, energy, and attention go towards building my business. And I was operating from a place of desperation. People are driven by desperation or inspiration. Oftentimes, desperation is a much more powerful motivator, but that's what it was for me. So working hard, guys, I mean, that goes with, without being said, but you can't be lazy. You, 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 I, I, I see people, they just don't have the work ethic. They're, they're, they're lazy. They'd much rather watch TV and, and play video games than, than spend that time to grow a business or achieve their goals, and you're not going to achieve anything being a lazy person. You gotta overcome procrastination. You gotta change your habits. You gotta change and develop discipline in your life. And I, I can't go into all the how-to of everything, but guys, check out my YouTube channel, my blog, my podcast. I got videos and all this stuff, okay, that can help you guys to, to make these changes. But that's another common reason why a lot of people fail and don't have success, all right? So look at yourself. Write this down, guys. Hopefully you guys are writing this down. Is this where I'm coming up short? Do I have the work ethic? Am I doing whatever it takes? Am I working hard? Am I got habits that are holding me back? Am I procrastinating? You know, am I, am I focusing on the short term too much? I'm not focused on the long term. I don't have any patience. Is that what's holding me back? Is it the belief? Is it the confidence? All right, I want you guys to really think about it. That's how you're gonna make that change. It's not just listen to me, but actually ask yourself these questions and look at yourself in the mirror. That's how you're gonna make that change. Next goal, next reason why people fail. <laughs> this is a big one. They try to do things on their own. Man, it, it, trying to do things on your own is just stupid, okay? It's just stupid. If you're someone that's watching this, I, I warned you that I might offend you. If you're trying to do things on your own, you're an idiot, all right? And trust me, I'm not pointing the finger because I've been stupid before too. <laughs> I've been an idiot before myself, all right? I, I remember I spent years trying to just learn how to build a business from looking at message boards and forums and Google and stuff and trying to put together these pieces of these unverified sources of people that are out there on the internet sharing different articles and stuff and trying to put everything together. And as a result, I'm spending all this time and, and, and making so many mistakes along the way that I was so stupid that I didn't realize that I should just find a training program, a product, a course, invest the hundred bucks or less or whatever it costs the thousand, even if it's a thousand bucks, whatever, invest that money to invest in something that can help me, that has the structure, the step-by-step, -step, that can guide me along the way to make it a seamless process to get to where I want to go. But that didn't occur to me at the time. It took me a long time before I realized that because I was too stuck in the mentality of, oh, uh, you know, I can just figure it out on, on my own. I had too much ego. I was closed off. I, 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 I was too proud to invest it. I, had, I was just trying to be a know-it-all. I was afraid to invest the money or, 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 or do what was necessary to get to where I wanted to go. And it was just stupid for me to think that way. And you know, eventually I realized that, look, I'm gonna spend years trying to do it this way and the time that I'm spending is much more valuable than the hundred bucks or the, even a thousand bucks that I could spend because that hundred bucks or that thousand bucks, I could earn that just working a few weekends, doing car washes and, and, and working at a temp agency or getting some extra work doing construction, I can earn that money in a much shorter period of time and use that money to invest in a training that can get me there a lot faster and save me the time, save me the money, the stress, the failure, the mistakes that, that I would make along the way. But it blows my mind how many people you know, don't think that way. They'd much rather spend so many hours of their, their life and time, they don't realize how valuable their time is instead of, instead of just investing something that can get there much faster. And that's how I think now. If I wanna get anything in my life, 
I think about where's the training, the product, the resources, people that I can learn from that can show me the way. I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel. I'm gonna learn from other people and model them and get there much faster. So that's another huge mistake that I see people make time and time again. I can't tell you how many people, they eventually invest in like my product or coaching or whatever it is, and they always say, I wish that I got this from the start because now they made so many mistakes and they realize how many mistakes they made, they have to go back and I have to work with them to fix all those mistakes that they made, all those bad habits that they made and all the screw ups that they made in their business when they could have just got the training from the, the start, from the beginning and, and created the success that they wanted much faster. So that's been a core thing that's helped me be successful in my life today is I learn from other people I don't have any ego. I'll learn from anyone that's more successful than myself. Even people that know things that I don't know, I'm obsessed with learning from them, okay? I'm not afraid to invest the time, the money, whatever it takes. Even if I didn't have money, I still did this, okay? Back when I was broke and struggling, I realized that I needed to invest in training, you know, because what I was doing wasn't working. And I, if, if, if you keep doing what you've always done, you're gonna keep getting what you've always got. So, Things have to change and you can't just you know, do the exact same thing expecting a totally different result. It doesn't work. Okay, another reason why a lot of people fail is they have crazy unrealistic expectations. And this kind of goes back to I think number two that I mentioned, or number three is lacking patience. People get caught up in the short-term thinking mentality, the get rich quick mentality. And, excuse me, and, and as a result of that, you know, they think that I'm just gonna start this business or whatever and I'm just gonna make millions of dollars. I'm gonna make hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars and if it was that easy, then everybody would be rich and successful. So it's not that easy, guys. You know, I, oftentimes I've done videos on this. What I recommend for people is your first goal is always to make one dollar. One dollar online, that's it. If you can make that one dollar, it gives you confidence. It verifies for you that this works. It starts to give you that belief in the process and in, your, in yourself. Because if you can make a dollar, you realize, oh my God, I can make, now I can make $10, I can make $100. You start to see the vision of what's possible. So understanding that you gotta have realistic expectations. If you're brand new, you're a newbie to something, you can't expect to get the results of somebody that's more experienced than you. Someone that's maybe already been building businesses or already has a background or has more experience with computers or technology or, or they've already been through different businesses before, different training before. You can't compare yourself to other people. You know, what's most important is you gotta have realistic goals for yourself. It's making one dollar, then after that, maybe a hundred bucks. And at the beginning, you're not gonna have these amazing results, but you work away at it, the real results are long-term. They're, they're six months, a year, five years from now. That's when you're gonna be able to create the hundreds of thousands of dollars, the millions of dollars that you want to create in your business. All right, so make sure that your expectations are realistic. You're not, you know, there's no program, there's no business that you just invest in it. You don't have to do any work and you're gonna make all this money. Okay, it, it doesn't work that way. It takes a lot of work, takes time, patience, everything that I'm sharing with you guys. Okay, another reason, I'm gonna try to move these, through these a little bit faster for you guys, okay? Another reason is they're afraid to invest money. Listen, to build a successful business, you gotta invest money. I can't tell you how many people they are afraid to just invest a little bit of money here and there to build a business. You need to invest in technology. You need to invest in maybe a graphics designer, and a product to get your product made and stuff. But people are looking to cut corners. They're afraid to invest here and there uh, and, and they're trying to save ten dollars here and there it's just crazy to me you know oftentimes i work with people with publishing kindle books and stuff and they complain about a service that costs an extra ten dollars i'm like dude what are you talking about man it's an extra ten dollars you're gonna get a better product and you're you're too focused on saving money you're not focused on making the best product that you can have that can help people you know, they're, they're getting a, a cover for their book done or something like that, a graphic, and, and, and they're, they're gonna go with the, the cheaper option of five or $10 rather than spending the extra five to $10 to get a much better quality cover and product. And that's gonna make the difference in your success. So, I mean, I, it just drives me insane when I see this. I mean, it, it, I don't know what to say. Like, it, it, you have to spend money in your business to grow it. You have to invest money. When you make money, you gotta invest it as well. Any business you wanna start requires an upfront amount of money, and capital that you invest. You're always gonna be running at a deficit at the beginning. I mean, show me a business that, that doesn't operate that way. You wanna build a, start a restaurant? 
okay, great. Here's, you know, you need 50 grand, $100,000 to start that restaurant. Maybe you got to take a loan from the bank or whatever. You got to put money aside, save up and, and do that. And you know, you're going to make money from it and you're going to have to pay off you know, that deficit that you're operating at, but that's, that's, that's what's required to start a business. You're gonna to have to invest money to create a product, to create a book, to create whatever. You're gonna to have to invest a little bit to market it to, and the, the tools, the resources that you need to help support you to grow your business. At, at the beginning, you're gonna be operating at a loss. It's just, that's just how it is. I mean, if you don't understand that, then, then don't be in business. I mean, then business is not for you if you're not willing to invest some money to start your business. So, it blows my mind uh, how people are, are just, they don't realize you gotta invest money, not just in the training, but you gotta invest money. Like if you wanna build a website, you need a domain name, you need hosting, you're gonna need a logo, you're gonna need some graphics, you're gonna need something. If you wanna start an Amazon business, you're gonna need to invest in some inventory, you're gonna need, need to get a logo and labels done. You're gonna have to ship the product. You know, you're gonna, it's gonna cost you some money before you start making some money. You wanna build a, a publishing business, you're gonna, get, you're gonna have to uh, order the book and get a book written. You're gonna have to get the, the graphics. You're gonna have to spend some money to market it. You might have to hire an employee, someone that can help you build your business, right? So these are all, all things that, that, that prevent people from success is they don't realize these sort of things. And if, if, you, if you don't have money, then go out there and make money. There's a lot, I mean, I don't know what you're doing with your, your day and your life, but you know, there's seven days a week. You can get jobs out there, as many opportunities, and, and, and there's 24 hours in a day, right? You can work eight hours a day. You can spend your weekends. You can work construction. You can, you know, work at a temp, temp agency. You could be resourceful. You could, you know, you know, do some extra work on the side or whatever to make some extra money that you can invest in your business. Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You gotta, you gotta work hard and, and make some of the capital from your job and whatnot and then use that money to help your business grow and support it. So that, that's another reason why people fail. And uh, again, look at yourself, is that you? you know, are, are you one of those people that, that's held back by money or one of these reasons? Next reason, they try to cut corners and find loopholes. And again, that might make you some short-term money. It's not gonna last, okay? Look at the long-term sustainable strategies, not the short-term loopholes. People are always obsessed with that. They're looking to get rich quick. Again, they're focused on the short-term. Uh, for me, there's a lot of short-term loopholes in my business. There's short-term loopholes I could use to rank my YouTube videos, to, to attract more people in the search engines, to make more money, but I, I, I ignore those. I, I, I say, you know what, I'm not gonna do those things because I'm, I'm focused on the long-term sustainable strategies. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna cheat the system for the next six months and make some money and then have that go away and then that money that I was depending upon or risk my accounts in some way or my reputation. I'm not willing to do that. So don't look for the short-term shortcuts and the loopholes and the gimmicks. Focus on the long-term solutions and strategies. And that, that's a really important one. I'm not gonna go too much deeper into it. I've shared some other videos on that before, but again, it comes down to focusing on the long-term. Next is people learn from the wrong people. I see this time and time again as well. A lot of people that I work with, you know, they invest in my training and, and I'm trying to help them create success and they're learning from someone that's done it, that's created a lot of success. I've built many different businesses, success in different businesses. I've built, made millions of dollars now online. And then they, they start learning from other people that have made you know, a couple hundred bucks, a couple thousand bucks. They start listening to them. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you're, learning, you're trying to learn from someone that's, that's making a little bit of money and you're going away and you're, you're trying to do the, all these different things that, that, you know, that, that's not from the right person that you should be learning from. And I think a lot of people, again, it kind of comes down to a lot of things I've already shared. People looking for short-term results and not having patience and, and whatnot. And, and so they start to get frustrated. So they start to look for other answers. They start to look for other people that can, that can shortcut them the, the process and get them there a lot faster. And they end up going down this totally wrong path. And I, I can't tell you how many people that I've worked with that hire me for coaching or even other people that I work with as well. And you know, they've, they've gone through my training and they're doing it, but then they start doing all these other things. And I'm like, dude, where'd you, where'd you, where'd you, what are you doing here? Like, where'd you learn this stuff from? And they're like, oh, I learned from this guy here. He's making $500 a month and I, I wanna try to learn from this guy. And I'm like, dude, well, I, I, made, I, I built a six figure publishing business and I've made over millions of dollars online through my businesses. And you're learning from this guy who's making 500 bucks or a thousand bucks a month and you're doing something that's totally different. And again, that comes down to not trusting the process. So learn from the right people. Learn from people that have created, this, created the success, that have the results in the business, 
and they have the reputation, they have the success stories of people that they've worked with, learn from those people, not from the, 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 the people out there on the internet, the keyboard jockeys that know all the theory, but they never actually built a business before, okay? You, you wanna avoid those people. Okay, another reason is they don't listen to advice from successful people, okay? Uh, this is where people have an ego. They're closed-minded, they're too proud. They think they know it all. And I, I've encountered people like this, you know, they, they, they're the keyboard jockey guys that, that know all the theory and they've done all the research, but they're not doing it. And they have a closed mind and they think they know it all and then that their way is the right way. And that's another very important reason why a lot of people fail. I've, I've worked with people and coached them and I'm trying to help them, but they're, they're arguing with everything they might tell them. You know, and it's just like you can't help someone like that if they don't have an open mind, if they don't trust you, if they don't trust the process. So if you're gonna learn from someone that's more successful, listen to them, listen to what they say. They have the experience, they've been doing it for years. They've created the results, not with it, just with themselves, but countless other people. You know, I see this time and time again with people even that invest in my training is, they start, you know, I, I have certain things that I say, okay, do this, do this, do this, do that. You know, I guide them step by step how to do things and how to grow their business. And a lot of people, I'm blown away how many people they don't even listen to it. You know, I, I recommend, okay, you're gonna need this to grow your business and then they go out there and they get this. Or they just end up doing totally different things, the opposite things of what I'm trying to teach them. And you know, you can't have success if, if you don't trust the process and the training and actually listen to your coach or the mentor or the role model, excuse me, that you've invested in. So if you're gonna invest in something, if you're gonna learn from people that are successful, listen to them, do what they say. There's a lot of things that I share with you guys on my YouTube channel, on my blog, and things that I can help you. If you guys just did what I, I share with you guys, you guys will be able to have success. You'll be able to create it. But most people aren't willing to do it. You know, I remember one thing for me, I, I struggled with uh, uh, for a period of my life. I remember learning from successful people. They always said that you gotta give away a certain percentage of your income to charities and organizations and you gotta give back. And for me, I was like, oh no, I, you know, I'm not gonna do that because you know, I didn't have the money, I was in a scarcity mentality. And they said, well, that's why you have to give because the scarcity, the fear that you have right now in your life is preventing you of attracting and making more money. And so I, I looked at myself, I decided, you know what? They're right, like if I'm listening to these mentors, these role models I'm learning from, and I'm not doing what they say, which is to give away you know, 10% or a certain percentage of my income to charities, then I'm not even listening to what they're saying, what they're trying to teach me. They have the success, they have the proven track record. What, I can't think that I know it all and, and let all these things, my ego get in the way because I, I just gotta trust this person I'm trying to learn from that they have the best intentions for me and that if I listen to them, then I'll create the success. So I started doing it. I started giving away 10% of what I make, supporting charities, organizations, giving to homeless, giving to my church. And you know, and it, sure enough, what I found is that it got me out of that scarcity, that fear-based mentality, opened me up to new opportunities and making more money and it really changed my life. So that's just an example, but you know, you've gotta be willing to listen to what people, especially that are more successful than you, what they're trying to teach you and just do what they teach. It's really as simple as that. Uh, okay, another reason that I have here, my, my battery, or so my, uh, my memory card's gonna die in about four minutes, so I'm gonna have to clear it, I'm gonna maybe have to do a part two, or, or pause the video in a sec here, but uh, next one that I have here is people, they, uh, they don't focus on one thing, they easily get distracted by what I call the shiny object syndrome. All right, so there's so many opportunities out there to build a business, to make money online, and often people get distracted, right? They're doing one thing, they're, they're, they're building their business, and there's this other opportunity, and they, excuse me, they totally get sidetracked, and they jump from one business to the other, and again, this comes down to people not seeing results fast enough. They're, again, focused on the short term, they're not having patience, and focus on the long term, but you have to focus. I tell people, when you sign up for my course, my training, unsubscribe from everybody else because that's only gonna distract you. It's only gonna do, do you a disservice. You don't need to be on 100 people's email lists because they're, you know, they're gonna market, promote the different opportunities. There's always gonna be things that come up. You gotta focus on what you're doing and say no to everything else. You gotta learn to say no and focus and say, you know, I'm doing this. I get opportunities all the time. People all the time, every day, they're sharing this business opportunity. They wanna partner with me. They wanna do this or that. I gotta ignore all that because I've got my goals. This is what I committed to. It's there on my blog. It's on my YouTube channel. 
that's what I'm committed to this year. Anything that's not in alignment with that, I'm saying no to. Maybe next year, when I set my goals again next year, but for now, this is what my focus is on, and I'm not gonna be distracted by any other shiny objects out there. So don't fall into that trap. Okay, another uh, reason why a lot of people fail is they can't deal with failure or adversity. Now, listen, show me a person out there that's massively successful that hasn't failed. It doesn't exist. Everybody that's successful today has gone through failure. They've been through challenges, adversity, setbacks, part of the process. You've got to realize that. A lot of people, it might be the first time you're starting a business, you never encountered failure. You know, because when you have a job, there's no failure when you have a job. You, you have that security. You just get, show up eight hours a day. You get paid for your time. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You know, you're not getting paid on the results. You're getting paid for your time and the hours that you're putting in. So when you have a business, you don't get paid for your time. You get paid based on results that you produce. And, and the only way that you learn is through failure. It's by making mistakes, having setbacks, going through adversity. And a lot of people, they don't have what it takes because they're so sensitive, they, they, they take failure personally. They can't deal with it when it comes up. They, they, ha, they, ha, they create a negative meaning and association to failure, and sure enough, they, they, they end up giving up as a result of that. Listen, you, you have to have a core belief and understand that failure is expected, it's part of the process, but failure is a good thing. Failure is feedback. Failure is an opportunity for you to learn and to grow and to help improve your business. I failed thousands of times. I can't even tell you how many times I've failed in my business, but I don't view them as failure. That's the difference between someone who's successful and someone who fails. The failure lets, let, lets the failures in their life define them. They, they get discouraged, they give up because of those failures. The successful person still fails just as much as the failure does. The difference is he doesn't view them as failures. He just views them as opportunities to learn and he actually sees them as a good thing. So. Don't be afraid to fail. I, I see a lot of people that are afraid to, to try different things, to you know, invest money on this and maybe it doesn't work. I've, I've invested money on different marketing things and, and all that and it doesn't work. I lose a couple thousand bucks, whatever, but that's okay, that's how I learn. I invest in training, sometimes the training I don't get as much value from as I, as I expected, that's okay. I invested in Instagram training the other day, it was like $60 program, I didn't learn anything from it. But I was like, all right, that's fine. It helped reinforce what I already knew, so there's still some value in that because it helped me internalize what I already knew at a deeper level. So I still find the good in everything. I don't believe in failure whatsoever. I think every experience has value in it. You gotta find where that value is. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause this and continue this because my memory card's gonna die here. So we'll resume this in a few seconds. All right, I'm back. So reason number 12 why most people fail is that they care too much about what other people think of them and they have a fear of rejection. Now listen, in order for you to create success in your life and your business, there's always gonna be people that disagree with you. There's always gonna be people that are gonna make fun of you, that are gonna doubt you, that are gonna be negative and, and, and try to hold you back from creating success. And if you think that once you become successful that that's gonna go away, you're deluding yourself because the more successful that you become, the more people will dislike you. Okay, there's a lot of people that will like you and love you, but the also that comes with that is a lot of people that dislike you, the haters, the people that are gonna be negative, they're gonna try to pull you down because they feel insignificant. And the one of the, you know, if you wanna have the tallest building in a city, you can build your own, which takes a lot of hard work and sacrifice and faith and belief and a lot of things that I'm sharing with you, or you could tear down every other building and then you can have the tallest building in the city. Most people focus on tearing down everyone else. So understand, if you're starting a business, you're gonna have people in your life that aren't gonna believe in you. Maybe it's your family, maybe it's your friends, people are gonna make fun of you. I had plenty of that when I started back in 2012, even with Project Life Mastery. I shared my YouTube videos and I was enthusiastic and passionate about my goals and all that stuff and a lot of people made fun of me. They didn't believe in me. They, 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 they thought I was, what I was doing was stupid or silly, you know, and, and they just kind of thought it was ridiculous for me to put myself up there on YouTube and, and, and do what I was doing. They didn't believe that I could make any money from a blog. They didn't believe that you know, YouTube was a viable career you know, or this internet thing, right? And a lot of people in your family, they might think, you know, well, you gotta go to school, you gotta get an education, you gotta get a nine to five and all that sort of stuff. And if you buy into that, then you're gonna have to settle for a similar life as them. And you gotta ask yourself, do they have the life that I want? 
And that's where it comes down to the belief in yourself again and having that faith. You have to believe in yourself in the process. You can't let other people, what they think, their opinions hold you back or stop you. Uh, you know, like I said, there's going to be plenty of that along the way. And when you become more successful, you're going to have to deal with a lot more of it. Trust me. There's a lot of people out there that don't know me, but you know, there's always some negative opinions about me or assumptions or accusations or whatever it is of people that don't really know who I am or what I'm about. And that's totally fine. You know, I, I don't focus on that. You can't focus and care what other people think and let them define you. You have to have confidence and decide for yourself. I decide. I dictate who I am. Nobody else. I know who I am. I can look in the mirror and I feel proud of myself. The shadow that follows me, I'm happy with that shadow because it's never going to escape me for the rest of my life. And as long as you know in your heart of hearts that you're doing the right thing, that you're building something, you have your vision, you believe in it, and you're not willing to give up, and you don't care what people think, you'll be successful. And again, that takes courage. Not gonna, it's not easy, but uh, you know, if you can have that courage, you'll be able to, again, create the life that very few people, few people get a chance to create. And then when you have success, there will be people that hate you, but a lot of people will love you. A lot of people are gonna say, hey, you know what? They're gonna wanna learn from you and find out what you're doing. And that's what happened to me because when I started having a lot of success with Kindle publishing, all of a sudden my family, my friends, my, my cousins, uh, you know, all of them wanted to know what I was doing. So I started teaching my sister, I taught my brother, I taught my cousins, I taught uh, friends of mine as well and they went on to have success also. So it's kind of funny how that is. At first they, they doubt you, but eventually when you have the proof, it, you know, it really changes how people perceive you, uh, which is a pretty interesting thing. So you can't have that fear of what, about what other people think. You gotta believe in yourself in the process. Okay, another reason why a lot of people fail is they have limiting beliefs or a negative mindset and attitude. Very important. So this kind of goes back to what I've already shared. Low self-esteem, negative attitude. Uh, I've seen people this, they're, they're just negative about everything. And, and, and I mean, if you're always looking for what's wrong, you're gonna find it. You're gonna find what you look for. You look for what's good, you're gonna find the good. In every situation, there's good and there's bad. It's all how you interpret it and the meaning that you create. And uh, you know, I, this goes without, without being said. I mean, you just can't have a negative attitude about things. You gotta be positive. You gotta be positive in your process and your business and the journey. Uh, you gotta work on yourself and work on that attitude and mindset. And again, part of that comes down to the morning ritual. Uh, but I, I, you know, I've encountered customers and, and people that just have a horrible attitude. And oftentimes these are people that I don't want to work with. I don't really wanna help those people. I'll say to them, listen, you gotta work on your attitude. You gotta work on your mindset. You gotta work on being more positive. Here are some free videos that I have here on YouTube, my blog. Go through those. For now, you're not ready. You're not ready to build a business. You're not ready for my course, my training. And I'll actually refund them and, and kick them out of my program because I don't want negative people. You know, I don't wanna have to deal with those customers. You know, I, I've got a Facebook groups and communities that I manage. I don't want negative people in that. I, I have no tolerance for that whatsoever. So, you know, I, I found for myself, if, if people have that attitude, they've got to work on their attitude first, their mindset, before they're ready to build a business. And if that's you, if your attitude, your mindset is negative, then I recommend that you, you, you read some books, you, you start to feed your mind with some more positivity, and you work on that part of yourself because you're going to need it to be successful. Another reason why a lot of people fail, and kind of going back to that, limiting beliefs was part of that. You gotta identify the beliefs that are stopping you because a lot of the beliefs that you have are self-sabotaging or success. If you have a belief that you wanna be successful but then you have another belief that says that you don't wanna put in any work or you want short-term results, well, that's known as what is called an inner conflict. You know, one, one belief is positive and then one's negative and they, they counteract each other and they're gonna pull you in two different directions. So you gotta really identify your limiting beliefs and address them and again, morning rituals are one of the best ways to do that. Okay, number 14 I think I'm at right now, this is a big one as well, is a lot of people fail because they're not committed to learning and constant never-ending improvement. You see, if you want to be successful, you have to learn. You have to keep working on yourself. The more that you learn, the more that you earn. So you have to continue learning. You can't just learn and do thing, something one time and expect that for you to, to have all the success afterwards. A lot of people even invest and start their business, they invest in training, 
but they, they don't keep investing in training. And, and that's part of the process because whatever training you learn, understand that it's only gonna get you to a certain point. Uh, you know, as Einstein says, the level of thinking that's gotten you to where you are right now is not the same level of thinking that's gonna get you to where you wanna go. It requires a different level of thinking. So you always have to be looking at how you can improve things and become better, how you can improve yourself, how you can learn more about your business or industry, learn the latest of what's working, how you can improve your products, and, and, and always making those better and better and better. And that's one core thing that's really helped me get to where I am is I'm always looking to improve myself. I'm improving my products, everything that I put out and sell, I'm always making it better and improving it. I'm always improving my YouTube videos, my blog, my channel, everything that I do, I'm improving it. And then I'm improving myself. Excuse me. I'm investing in training, I'm investing in coaches, I'm investing in, in all these things even when I don't, I, sh I don't have to be because I've already created a lot of success, but I still am because, excuse me, I realize that what's gotten me to where I am is learning and growing and improving myself and I need to keep doing that to get to where I want to go. You know, I just signed up the other day, one of my goals for this year is to go to Tony Robbins Business Mastery, $10,000 seminar. I invest $10,000 through a seminar. People are like, well, why would you do that? Why would you, why, that's a lot of money. Why would you spend that money in a seminar? Because what I'm gonna learn from that seminar is gonna help me make millions of more dollars over the next few years and through the rest of my life. I can't afford to not learn the latest and, and to learn things that can help me grow and improve my business because I'm gonna be missing out on money. If I invest in the training, there's a lot of money I'm gonna be missing out on if I don't gain the skills and the knowledge that I need to gain right now early on in my business career. So I'm not afraid to invest in myself. I, back when I didn't have money, I remember I invested to go to Tony Robbins' Date with Destiny seminar, which was a $5,000 seminar. I remember I invested in coaches when I didn't have any money, thousands of dollars on coaches. But again, that's what helped me get to where I am today. So I'm gonna keep doing it and I'm gonna keep learning and evolving, evolving and improving myself, investing in training all the time. You know, I'm going to tons of different seminars and doing different things like that. So you always need to be learning, evolving, and improving yourself. Okay, another reason why a lot of people fail is they fail to anticipate changes and adapt. The internet's always changing, the world is always changing. It's changing at a much faster pace than ever before. If you don't anticipate the changes, you're gonna get left behind. You're gonna, you're gonna end up fail, failing. There's gonna be things that are gonna happen and if you don't prepare for them now and, and get ready for them, then you're gonna pay the consequences. So you have to be able to anticipate, see the road ahead. I was able to anticipate changes with Amazon and that's why I started teaching and changing my strategies, my model, because I knew things were coming that were gonna change and I wanted to change early so that I can get an advantage over everyone else and it wouldn't affect me as much. A lot of people, they, they just react when changes happen. They're not anticipating. You got to anticipate and see the road ahead and you always have to be willing to adapt. I've always been adapting as changes happen. Facebook changes, I'm changing my Facebook strategy to adapt. There's new technology coming out, there's Snapchat. Okay, I need to adapt, I need to get on Snapchat. Amazon just released video, Amazon Video Demand or Amazon Video Direct or whatever. Okay, I'm gonna test it out, I'm gonna adapt because who knows what's gonna change with YouTube? Who knows what's changing with Google? You always have to stay one step ahead and anticipate and adapt. Be flexible, okay? Very important. Number 16, they lack creativity or basic intelligence. This is a really important one. A lot of people, they just look to copy someone else. They just wanna you know, follow the formula and not have to use any creativity or thinking for themselves. And you might have some moderate success with that, but in order to be successful, you have to be, use your creativity, you have to have some basic common sense and intelligence. Uh, oftentimes I get frustrated with people that just follow things exactly. I have templates and stuff throughout my training, they follow things exactly the same and they're not realizing that there's other people doing the same thing and you've got to think outside the box and, and use your own ideas, come up and use your own brain and creativity and, and, and do things differently than everyone else if you want to be successful. And you learn from people that are successful, but then you also enhance things. You do things better, you know? So you're, you're gonna have to have some creativity and intelligence uh, if you wanna have success in your life. And there's a lot of people that I, that I see that are just, they're, honestly, they're just lacking intelligence. And uh, I, I don't know how to fix that. I think just learning and improving yourself and a lot of experience can help you, but you're gonna have to have some basic intelligence and, uh, and improve your creativity if you wanna have success, okay? So uh, work hard on yourself, improve yourself, 
and uh, just become a smarter person. That's all, all I can really say. Uh, very important though. Uh, okay, another reason why a lot of people fail is they don't have goals or clear outcomes for what they want. And you guys know this, I preach this all the time on my blog, my YouTube channel. If you guys still don't have goals, I don't know what to say. I mean, if you don't know what you want, you're not gonna ever get what you want. I remember I put out a YouTube video. I think it was one of my monthly goals reports. Someone left a comment, he's like, it's like maybe I should set, start setting some goals. Um, well, well, like, yeah, I'm, I've been sharing goal setting for years. Like, how can you not have goals? Like, you gotta have goals, guys. I mean, I share this in all my, my, my products, my K Money Mastery course, my new course that's coming out. That's one of the first thing, you gotta have goals. You gotta have realistic, attainable, smart goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, having a timeline. You gotta set goals for yourself. You gotta know what you want, have that clear outcome. If you don't know what you want, you're not gonna get there, right? It's like you get in your car, but you don't have a destination, you're just gonna drive around in circles. So you gotta have goals, I mean, that's a big one. Uh, and then also number 18, you're gonna have compelling reasons for why you want your goals. You gotta have hunger, you gotta be hungry and want it bad. You know, that's again, another big part of the 80% of the psychology is why you want it, 20% is how. You gotta have a strong why, you have to have strong reasons and you gotta have reasons that are your reasons, not anyone else's. You can't be doing it because what your parents want you to do or your friends or society, they want you to do this or that. That's not gonna drive you long term. You gotta have reasons that drive you, motivate you to create the success that you want, the life that you want. And for me, every moment uh, that's created my success is because I have reasons, I have this hunger, this motivation, this drive that pushes me every day, that wakes me up early, keeps me up late, focused and working hard towards creating the life that I want. You know, and your reasons could be positive or negative. Maybe it's to create a, a better life for yourself, to travel the world, to make more money, be financially free, to be able to take care of your family or friends or to give and make a difference. Or it could be more pain related reasons to avoid pain. Like you're tired of settling in your life. You're tired for, you're tired of being broke and struggling and working at a job that doesn't fulfill you, building someone else's dream and not building and fulfilling your own dream, your own mission in, in your life. You're tired of being a slave to someone else. Whatever those reasons are, you gotta identify what they are and associate with them and then have them drive you and pull you towards where you wanna go. If you just have a reason to make a little bit more money, you're not gonna be driven. You're not gonna be motivated enough. I mean, it's too, too tough of a battle. The, the war is too tough. You're not gonna survive. So you gotta have reasons that really drive you, that are, that are really emotional for you and will keep you going over the long term. Another reason why a lot of people fail, uh, number 19, is they don't surround themselves with like-minded, successful people. And I've already kind of mentioned this one a little bit, but who you spend time with is who you become. I, I remember reading a, a, like a, a study or a stat that the income that you make right now is similar or like 10 to 20% off of the five closest people that you surround yourself with. So if you currently make $50,000 a year, then my guess is your five closest people that you spend time with also make around 50%, maybe, or sorry, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, or maybe 10, 10 to 20% less or more of the amount that you make. So if you wanna get ahead, it's not gonna serve you being around people that are making the same amount of money as you. You gotta get around people that are more successful than you are. You gotta surround yourself. And also people that are at least like-minded, people on the same path, the same journey, they're just as committed as you are. That's why I created communities, Facebook groups for my courses, so that you can interact and meet people and, and you're not going at it alone because the, the, the friends, the peers you have, they don't want you to change is the truth, is the reality of it because they, they're, they're afraid that if you change, what is it gonna mean for them? You're gonna, they're gonna lose your connection, the love that you guys have together. That's gonna make them feel insignificant or not enough. So they want to be comfortable. Everybody wants to stay in their comfort zone and part of the comfort zone is having you be just like them the same way that you already are. So you got to recognize that in, in an unconscious, subconscious level, your peer group is actually holding you back, not intentionally, but because it's human nature. You know, if you want to have a great body and get in amazing shape, but your friends are all overweight and you are as well, then, you know, they don't have any bad intentions for you, but just being around them, their belief systems and their actions and habits are gonna hold you back of creating the body that you want because you're gonna to start to eat healthier and try to go to the gym, but then they're gonna say, well, you know, let's just go watch TV tonight or let's, let's order this, let's, let's uh, go to McDonald's or whatever it is. 
and, and that's gonna hold you back, that's gonna influence you in some way. So you need to be around people that are more successful than you, that are at least like-minded, positive, on the same path, on the same journey, surround yourself with that. And the last one, just to wrap this up, because this has been a long video, thank you guys for sticking with me, but all these reasons are very important. Last reason why people fail is they give up. They give up, they quit. And if you quit, there's no chance of success. They just decide that, you know, this is too hard, I'm just gonna go back to having a job. Job's much easier, I get short-term money from it, it's secure, I don't have to deal with the failure, I don't have to deal with the, the hardships and everything. And they settle, but there's a part of them that is never fully fulfilled and satisfied because they know that they've given up. They know that there's a greater life out there that's possible for them, that's waiting for them, that they got a glimpse of, and it will haunt them for the rest of their lives knowing that. Every time they look in the mirror, they're always gonna wonder what if. What if I just went at it? What if I just committed myself? What if I overcame these 20 reasons and I stuck at it long term? And I created that lifestyle. So you can't give up. I mean, giving up, quitting can never be an option. It never was for me. Uh, you know, one thing that often inspires me is I remember hearing the story of Sylvester Stallone and when he uh, uh, started his, his path of being an actor and he uh, was struggling and broke in his life and he um, wanted to be an actor. That was his mission, that was his dream. Everybody said he should give up. He got turned down by over a thousand different agents' offices in New York, all saying that he looked stupid, he sounded stupid, and he just believed in his vision, his dream, and would not give up. And he refused to get a job because he, he believed that if he got a job, then he'd lose his hunger. He'd get seduced back to being comfortable. And so he refused to go back to get a job even though he was so desperate, he had to sell his wife's jewelry. His wife left him after that. He got so desperate that his best friend, his dog, he, uh, he needed 50 bucks and so he went to the liquor store and tried to sell his dog and eventually someone bought his dog for like 30 bucks. It's the worst day of his life. But he would not give up. And sure enough, he got the idea for Rocky. He wrote the script. Rocky became this big success. People said overnight success, but they didn't see the years of struggle and hard work that he put in and the rejection and the failure, everything that he went through. And boom, all of a sudden, all this success and all this fame and all this money and creating the life that he wanted because he wouldn't give up. He kept at it. He believed in himself and his vision. And you do that, you, you have that belief, you, you have these reasons here, you overcome these reasons that I shared with you so far you're gonna be able to create the life that you want. And I can't promise you guys it'll happen overnight. I don't believe in that. It takes time. Everyone has their own path of success. Some people's faster than others. It doesn't matter how long it takes to get there, as long as you finish. Man, it's like you, you start a race, a marathon. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Other people are faster. Other people have been training longer and more experience. What matters is, is that you finish the race. You make it to the other side and you don't just give up and throw in the towel wondering what if later. You know, one of my favorite quotes from Jim Rohn is that discipline weighs ounces, regret weighs tons. You don't want to have regret. So that's it for the 20 reasons, guys. I'm going to thank you guys for sticking with me for this. And I want you guys, again, to look at yourself, ask yourself, be honest with yourself. Where am I coming up short? What's holding me back? What do I need to do to overcome it? and commit even more to your success than you ever have before. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you guys immensely for sticking with it. Um, hopefully you guys received some value today. And uh, I wanna thank you guys for everything. Make sure to like the video as well. Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Hey, this is Stefan and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, then please hit the like button below, leave a comment to let us know what you think, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this. Now, if you want to take your life to the next level, then I want to offer you a free gift. It's called my Life Mastery Toolkit, and it literally has the best of the best of what I have to offer in terms of videos, articles, and resources for taking your life to the next level and living an extraordinary life. To get access to this, all you have to do is click the link that will appear right here on this video, 
or if you're on a mobile device, then click the link in the description below and then head on over to that page, enter your email address, and I'll send you immediate access to the Life Mastery Toolkit. I want to thank you again for watching this video. Until the next one, I'll talk to you soon.